Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here, and welcome to today's post-apocalyptic episode of Beyond a Steel Sky. Beyond a Steel Sky came out on November 30th, 2021 for Nintendo Switch, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, and the Xbox series. And thanks to the developers for sponsoring today's episode as well, Microids is the game's publisher, and Revolution Software as the developer. Well, thank you very much for tuning in here today as we try to unravel the mysteries of this post-apocalyptic world, and there's wastelands and uh, weird happenings and technological gizmos and whatnot, and so I think we're in for a real ride. Let's go and explore Beyond a Steel Sky. And before we get started, one juicy tidbit that this game was directed by Charles Cecil, who's the creator of the Broken Sword series, and was also enhanced by the artistic vision of Dave Gibbons. He's the legendary designer of Watchmen. Beyond a Steel Sky is the spiritual successor to Beneath a S uh, Steel Sky. You, you, pro you probably know that from 94, right? And uh, that is a good classic. And despite the 25 years that separate the two games, Dave Gibbons still going hard. He's there to maintain that consistent artistic vision for the franchise. Pretty cool, and I'm excited now to finally try out Beyond the Steel Sky on console. Let's go! I'd already decided it was going to be my last night in Max's village. And Max? I was sorry to be leaving, but I was restless again. Furiosa, I love you! Beware! The day grows dark, and demons stalk the gap by night! Harsh old woman, stop your superstitious nonsense. Besides, this is the best time of day for fishing, eh, hey, Marlo? Yes, Dad. Look, Foster, I use these broken sensors to make a fish alarm. It detects the fish before it bites. Nice work, Milo. Milo was just like me as a boy, and the tech skills I'd taught him would help the village after I left. Do you really have to go, Foster? How can we ever pay you back for all you've done? It's been my pleasure, Max. One of Anita's pies will be payment enough. I owed the Gap folk so much. My first tribe fostered me when I was orphaned all those years ago. They taught me how to recycle tech scavenged from city dumps. Soon, I even built myself a playmate. Joey and I were always together. As I grew, I upgraded him. He became the best friend I ever had. But then... Foster! Foster, wake up! The sensors detect a fish! It's a big one! What the...? It was no fish. Max, keep back! Marlo! Dad! What are they? Max! Drop him, you... Dad! Foster! Help me! Help me! Milo had gone. The machine, too. But its riders had left something behind. Max? Milo? What's happened, Foster? Where's my son? Max? Max? Oh, no! I told them! I told them there were demons stalking the dark! The stalker that attacked us was a machine, not a demon. Please, Foster, I don't understand. What... what happened? I told Anita everything I could, though I knew very little. Max was barely conscious. I could only hope that with Anita's loving care, he would recover. As for me, I had to follow Milo and his captors immediately. I'll bring Milo home, Anita. I promise. Thank you, Foster. I know you will. Dawn was breaking as I left the village. The featureless wastes of the gap stretched away from me. Night followed day, then day dawned once more. Time lost meaning as the tracks beckoned me ever forward. 
determination had long replaced sadness. Whatever it took, I would find Milo. The tracks were barely visible now, blurred by the wind. But I was sure I'd reach their destination soon. Then I saw the thing I feared the most approaching. Sandstorm. I battled forward, but now could only guess that my direction was correct. I decided to save my energy and sank into an exhausted sleep. Maybe the old woman was right. Maybe demons did stalk the gap. For as it shrieked and thundered around me, the storm brought back my nightmare once more. Union City security was attacking. As my tribe screamed in terror, I salvaged Joey's motherboard. Taken captive, I couldn't save my village. But I survived when the security copter crashed, entering Union City. On the run, I soon got Joey working. Upgraded yet again, he helped me overthrow the evil that ran the city. As I left, I told him to make the citizens happy. Union City was no place for me. I wanted to be where I could do most good, helping the scattered people of the Gap. I woke to find the storm had passed. But not without finishing its cruel work. The tracks were gone. I was lost, and so, I feared, was Milo. Then, I heard them. Gang-gang birds. Scavengers. And in this wasteland, that meant only one thing. People. All right. Well, we have some mysteries to solve, including who that was with the triangle logo with the red dot on it. And where our friend happens to have gone. Despair turned to hope. I was sure that if I could find where the stalker had gone, I would find Milo. Then, in the distance, I saw a girl crouching over a body. Hmm. All right, left stick to move, right to look around. Wow. We survived a giant sandstorm. Thanks, Darude. Okay. Well, we may speed through some of the dialogue here today, but uh, just keep in mind that we're going to try to make our main goal to get inside the city. So we might skip some of the things that you'd normally want to uh, do in a text-based adventure game like this, where the goal is to chat with everybody and learn their stories. Uh, trade and give items and craft things with combining items, so we'll see how it goes for us. Alright, let's chat with this uh, person here. Hello? The girl was holding a device to the lifeless hand. Hey! Excuse me! Who the hell are you? I'm searching for a vehicle that... I just... Whatever that device was, the bird had it now. Sorry, ma'am. Uh-oh. Damn scavengers. Objects that Foster can interact with are highlighted with a reticule. To interact with an object, first center your screen on a reticule and move towards it. Oh, okay. So we got the gang gang birds and the body. Well, those birds are probably going to rip me to shreds if I get any closer, so let's do it. Hi, birdies. Alright, so we can press X to enter and investigate things further. The gang gang birds were eyeing up the corpse hungrily. Ha! Huh. We could beat them with a crowbar, throw them some pie, or give them the finger. Well, let's give them the pie. That'll probably work. There you go, guys. Now, who are you, sir? 
The girl had been doing something to the guy's hand. I wondered what. He'd clearly been dead for days. <gasps> the logo. I'd seen it before. It is the logo. On the androids that had taken Milo. The girl was my only lead. I had to follow her. Union City. I was back. The city. That's one big city. Over the years, I'd heard rumors of how the city had thrived since I'd left Joey in charge. I was finally going to see for myself. Wow. That's a giant walled-in city. That is crazy. And there seems to be, like, vehicles coming in from the outside? Trains or, like, shuttle cars? Welcome. Okay. Well, thank you for the welcome. That's very nice. Oh. Literally. Just a gap lander. Well, hi. And you are? Community Welfare Droid 2CU at your service. To commence your Union City registration, please make your way to the immigration terminal. That's okay, I'm not here to register. I'm looking for. If you're looking for the immigration terminal, it's right over there. Thank you. Jeez, sassy. Nice to see you too, ma'am. Uh. Let's ask about the missing kid. Can you help me find a missing kid? You want to file a missing persons report? Go register. I'm looking for a vehicle that maybe came this way. A vehicle? Well, this is a freight entrance. So, you're in the right place. Oh. Right. I need to find a boy called Milo. He was... What you need to find is the immigration terminal. It's right over there. Okay, I'm getting... My, my SAS sensor, madam, is overloading right now. What else we got? I've never seen a droid like you. And I've never seen a gap lander like you. Why, thank you. And what is it you do? I tell gap landers like you to visit the immigration terminal and register. Wow. Let me know how that goes. She's like a YouTuber telling you to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on updates of future videos. And also to like this video so that way you can see more of Beyond a Steel Sky. Right? <laughs> right. So how do I register? Easy. Just go to the immigration terminal and you'll get a U-chip for your temporary ID. Okay. The correct route is indicated by these signs. Sounds easy. It is. Without it, you won't be able to interact with any of the Minos devices in this area. Uh, thank you, ma'am. How do I get to immigration? The terminal is at the wall end of the garden. The correct route is indicated by these signs. Soon as you've registered, you can access the Minos devices. What is Minos? What's this Minos you mentioned? Minos is the interconnected computer system that is everywhere and controls everything. Everything? That sounds very similar to Link. For the convenience of all citizens. And, word to the wise, no U-chip, no access to the Minos devices. Not even the vending machines. What? So go register. Okay, I'm going to register right away then. Alright, I need that vending machine. I'll be going now. About time, too. Whoa! Sass! How can I help? Uh, by talking less. Okay, um, so we need to find the terminal. There's a bunch of birds there by the back of that truck. Oh, more vehicles are coming in, too. Uh, let's see. 
Wait, she okay, she's getting pushy. She's like following me. Alright, let's go register. She wants me to it go was this a way. Smell, and it was coming from the truck. Huh. Oh, there's the signs. That's exactly what we're looking for. She's pushy. She's like right behind me. Oh my god. Okay. I think it's this thingy here. I like the garden. It looks nice. Okay. I guess this was the immigration terminal. I guess so. Welcome to the Union City Registration Terminal. Please place your hand below to receive your U-chip implant. Is this gonna hurt? Ouch! Yes. Yes, it is. A U-chip had been implanted into the palm of my hand. I wasn't sure how it was going to help me. Is that bird gonna attack me? Get out of here, bird. Oh. No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm not gonna hit him with our crowbar. I was gonna sneak up on him. Oh, there's a guy here. Hello, sir. Oh, it's a trucker. Amen, brother. What's going on? Shifting gears, brother. The guy looked like he'd been out in the sun a bit too long. Smelled like it too. Wow, rude. Sir, excuse me, sir. Are you? Whatever you're selling, I am buying. No, no, I'm not selling any... A likely story. Name's Wendell. Joe Wendell. Nice to meet you. That <laughs> remains to be seen. Listen, you haven't seen a child come through here, have you? <laughs> Pinch something of yours. No, he was kidnapped from a nearby village. Oh, oh I see. Sorry to hear that. You're not the first I've heard talking about kids going missing in the gap. But I've never seen any come through here. Have you asked those kids over by the playground? They've been here a lot longer than me. What are you doing here? Well, whilst Bruce's power cell remains as flat as a cow pat, not a whole lot. So you're trying to get in the city? Ups are blooming lootly. Trying being the operative word. I'm assuming Brucey is the name of your truck. I take it this is your truck? It's got my name on it, don't it? Your name is... W? Well, some of it. And what exactly is it that you're hauling? Until I get the old boy back up and running, absolutely nothing. Old Brucey's taking a turn for the worse. Tell me about this power cell. Your truck's power cell has drained. Aye, emptier than a politician's vow. Oh! There was a sandstorm put the bridge over yonder out of action. I was told to go park for a few hours. Turned into a few days. Trying to keep the mini keys cool in this heat emptied the power cell. I wasn't stingy on the aircon, mind, or the margarita blender up in the cab. A working man needs <laughs> his creature comforts. Anyway, 13.7 volts drained to nout. And they still haven't fixed that blooming bridge. And you've been sat here ever since? No choice until they send someone out to juice up Brucey's power cell. Someone competent, I mean. Hmm. Who's Mini K? So, your truck is full of Mini Knockwurst? You betcha. Mini K, best in the gap. Even contains some real meat. You're welcome to take it, armful. Back of the truck's open, although the doors like to play silly beggars. Oh? Requires a special technique. Ritual, you could call it. Ritual? Aye. Now listen carefully. Okay. Step one, give the bumper a wallop. Got it. Step two, do a little jig. Step three, Pull the door and jerk it hard. Wallop, jig, pull. That it? That's it, lad. And remember the order. Hmm. I'm looking for a vehicle. 
Well, mate, today's your lucky day. This is a vehicle. Hell yeah, brother. No, I'm looking for a special vehicle. But Brucey is special. All he needs is his power cell and we'll be on our way. The vehicle I'm looking for had four legs and no wheels. A vehicle with legs. <laughs> Think you've got bats in your belfry, mate. I love this guy. All right, we'll chat with you later. I'll be back. I'll be here. Thank you, Wendell. All right, who else is around here? We gotta find that girl. And there looked to be a guy messing around with the gate. Oh, this is the entrance to the city. All right then. So we gotta get through there to the main gate. At some point. Uh, we could chat with this guy. This is broken, huh? One of the posts was jammed. You don't say. I called upon my extensive background in engineering. Excuse me, sir. Right. It's working. Oh! Hey, we fixed it. Yeah, piece of cake. Dude, council sure is shining in my direction today. Do you know how many times I've scanned this thing? The last scan must have done the trick. You see, I'm the diagnostician and tech expert around here. Name's Hobsworth. What can I do for you? Expert, huh? Have you seen a missing kid? Hey, have you by any chance seen a kid come through here? Where's the little dude headed? On an adventure, is he? Oh no. He was kidnapped. Snatched from his village. And brought this way. Oh, right. Uh, nope. I, I haven't seen anything like that. Sorry. Now, if you don't mind, I've got to get back to work. Oh. You don't want to chat anymore? Okay. Well, he's busy. We'll chat with him later. Oh, that is a big, big bird right there. Woo! Hey, that's the thing with the... One particularly large and familiar bird stood out from the rest. Yeah, that's that thing the girl dropped. Oh, I ain't gonna be able to take that. But, let me just try... These were tough desert birds. Waving a crowbar around wouldn't phase them. I need to talk to you, ma'am. I recognize the girl. She was the one who'd run away from me earlier. What are you doing? Excuse me. Hello? You! Me what? You're the guy in the desert. And you're the girl with the corpse. Okay, first of all, that guy was dead long before I got there. And second of all, it's your fault Big Steve stole my date. Lost your what to who? Do you realize how much potential trade you cost me? Honestly, I have no idea what you're talking about. Ugh. I trade. I'm a trader. Name's Ember. Tell me more about that dead body. What were you doing out there in the desert with that corpse? Mister, are you looking to trade something or what? Trade? Trade, you know, tech, gadgets, knickknacks from the gap or the city. That's what I do. I collect stuff, sell stuff. Trade stuff. Only, since you're interfering, let Big Steve fly off with my deed. It'll be a while before I can make proper trades again. Now, excuse me. What's a deed? My deed, man. D T T. Data transfer tool. Deed. What's the deed for? Duh, transferring data. That's what I was doing with that dead fella. Transferring his citizen ID for trading. Yeah. You distracted me, and Big Steve nabbed it and flew off. Like I said, thanks. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, <laughs> so Big Steve's the bird. The deet is that tool that the, the bird took. Let's try the missing kid again. I'm looking for a boy named Milo who might have come through here recently. You're looking in the wrong place. Only boys around here are Pixel and Voxel. And the only thing they're missing is a few screws. Wow. I will right, we'll chat later. That's all for now. Thanks. Anytime. Oh, wait, no. Come back if you want to talk business. 
for someone with a business interest in dead bodies, she seemed pretty normal. I hadn't seen one of these terminals in ten years. Link. The evil behind everything that happened all those years ago. The attack on my village. The death of my mother. Nothing happened. Probably because the machine had had its innards ripped out. Oh. What is that? I heard electricity or something? Oh yeah, it's coming behind the waterfall. What? There was something strange about the water. And there was an unmistakable smell of ozone. Hmm. Up close, I could see the water was holographically concealing... an electric fence? Okay. I'm not gonna touch that. Alright, so we're looking for two kids, Voxel and Pixel. Oh, there's one of them right there. Hey there. Hey, kid. Hey, weird guy. My name's not Weird Guy. I'm Pixel. It's easy to remember because it rhymes with pickle. So it does. I'm Foster. I'll remember that easy because your name rhymes with fossil and you're old. Wow. Thanks, kid. Yeah. Thank you. What's your story, Pixel? Well, I'm eight years old and my birthday is in only 64 days. I'm really good at math and I can even lift my sister. And she's super fat. <laughs> Very comprehensive. Yep. Anything I can help you with today? I'm looking for a boy about your age named Milo, who may have come through here. You're asking the right guy? I remember every face that's come through here since I was a little kid. Yeah? How many's that? Like, at least 12. How recently are we talking? Sometime over the past couple of nights. Oh, didn't know. Haven't seen no kids. Hmm. How about the stalker? Did a vehicle come through here recently? Maybe. How recently is recently? Like two nights ago? Oh, then definitely no. But wait, two nights ago? My brother, Voxel, he saw this giant monster. What kind of monster? Oh, that's it. Like a totally huge, but not real one. Huge, but not real? I mean, Voxel says it's totally huge, and Ember says it's not real. Well, which is it? I don't know what to believe. Hmm. Who's Voxel? Yeah. My brother, remember? Can I talk to him? I guess, but he's not as friendly or helpful as me. Real question is, will he talk to you? He's been hiding for like two days now. Won't speak to nobody but me. Can you tell me where to find him? Maybe he'll talk to me. Nuh uh. You gotta earn that information. I don't know if I can trust you right now. Oh, really? How about I help you with your roundabout? What's wrong with the roundabout? It sucks. Stupid Mr. Hobsworth put a chain on it. He said it was for safety, then he dropped the chain on his foot. <laughs> Hmm. Bye. Call it if you need anything. I thought I could give him the soda or help him out with that chain. Oh, well, maybe I can use my crowbar on it. There you go, kid. Hold on, you owe me. All right. Wait, let me walk over here. Hey, kid. Push me. Uh. Push me. I've got things to do. Push me. Can we not push it? Ah, oh, there we go. Hey, 
Hey, kid. Push me. Uh. Push me. Uh, I've got the. Push me. Oh, there we go. You ever had one of these? Spankles? Gimme! Are you allowed? Yeah, yeah. Just don't tell Ember. You ever had one of these? Are you? Oh, okay. I guess we can't give it to him. Hey, me again. Wanna push me on the swings? Maybe later. What's wrong with Voxel? Like, why is he hiding? Yeah. I told you, man. He thinks he saw a monster. Will you tell me where your brother is hiding? Maybe we can help each other out with our monster problems. Mm, maybe. Yeah, okay. You've done me a favor. He's hiding in a bench in the garden. I told him I wouldn't tell no one, but you seem okay. I knew it. Thank you, kid. Bye. Okay, I'll go. Alright, we gotta go talk to Voxel now. So we gotta find a way to get that soda shook up to scare off those birds. And then in the back there's a giant piece of like, I don't know, organic or artificial like meat sticks or something. So we'll need those for something. Hello, Voxel. What? My name is Foster. I've just got a few questions. Uh... I'm looking for a missing kid. He came through this way a couple of nights ago. His name is Milo. He's about Pixel's age. And my age. Have you seen him? No, I haven't seen anything. I've been in this fortress where it's safe. Safe from what? The monster. Voxel, about this monster. Truth is, I'm a monster hunter. I've been tracking a monster across the desert for days. I think he came through here, and I'm looking for someone brave enough to see it and live to tell the tale. Um, I saw it. Can you describe it? It was big and beasty, and it eats children, and I could hear the screaming, and it was fast and dark and silent. Slow down, one thing at a time. It was big. Like a giant dog. A giant dog? That sounds like what I'm after. Did you see any children? No, but I heard them. I heard kids crying inside its tummy. Oh. And where did it go? It sneaked off into the city. After that, I got in here. No way am I going to let it get me. You've been in here for two days? Still alive, aren't I? True. Any ideas on getting into the city? People go in and out of the main gate. Are you gonna go in there and kill it? Sure am. That's what monster hunters do best. Then I'm gonna bring Milo and the other children back out. You will? Oh, you better take this. Oh. Thanks. What is it? Wow, that's a turn a of events. I was going to use it to kill the monster. But you can have it. Thanks, kid. Where'd you get that? What do I do with this firecracker? I don't know. Throw it at the monster. But cover your ears. Hmm. Thanks, Voxel. Hey, you got anything to eat? I'm kind of hungry. Uh, I could keep an eye out. Mr. Hopsworth sometimes lets me have some of his lunch. He doesn't usually know that, though. Ah, understood. Okay. Axel's giant dog sounded a lot like the stalker that had taken Milo. Now I was sure that the stalker had entered the city. There had to be a way in through the main gates. Hi, guys. 
Let's try this. <laughs> Dumb birds. They're funny. Perform door ritual. Let's do it. So, hit the bumper. Right. Hit the bumper. Do a jig. These were not my best moves. <laughs> and pull the door. We probably didn't have to do any of that. Plus one mini K. All right. So I guess maybe the kid wants that. Or maybe the big bird wants it. Let's see. If I hold it, is there a way to equip it? Gotta find the big bird. There he is. Big Steve. Come on, big fella. Come on, Steve. Come on, guys. I think I know where we're going to go. Yep, you guessed it. Hi, Steve. <laughs> good, good. Well, hopefully we find find the sandwich for the kid, I guess. But for now, let's take Ember's Deet. There we go. And she is coming back to her desk right now. Ember! Oh cool, characters can chat with each other. Hello? Ugh, what now? Can I ask you something? Yeah, go on. Here's your deed. So this deed, pretty valuable, huh? Oh, it's only a fundamental part of my enterprise. And the ID that's on it? You bet. That's a citizen's ID. And that would grant access into the city? You're a sharp one, ain't ya? Guess what I just found. A lot of nerve coming back here. Nope. This. What? My deed! I'll have that. Sure, but how about I give you the deed in exchange for the citizen ID that's on it? The deed for the ID? But... You wouldn't have it back if it weren't for me. It wouldn't have been stolen if it weren't for you. So we're even. <sighs> I suppose that's sort of fair. Excellent. When do we start? Have you got a U-chip? Yes. My hand is still stinging. Right then. Let's get this over with, yeah? Pass me back my deet, hmm? Follow me over to my workbench. We have a deal. After you, madam. Uh, grab its independent trade market or something? Trader? Ah, workbench. A makeshift workbench had been set up. Its structural integrity seemed over-reliant on some old deflated tires. <laughs> oh, sorry, Amber. She's trying to get behind it, I think. Hey, Amber. You ready to do this? I'm not entirely sure what this is. Oh, you want that citizen's ID, right? Sure do. Yeah. What do I need to do? Cool. Just place your hand flat on the U-chip scanner. Over here on my workbench. Hmm, okay. Uh, like this? 
Yeah, good enough. Let me just line up the laser. This, this better not hurt. Keep your hands Don't. still or you'll lose it. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, is this gonna hurt? No more than getting the chip installed in the first place. Great. Right, just transferring the ID now. You may feel a slight pinch. They always say that. What was that? That wasn't supposed to happen? There it is again. Must be... Nothing. It must be nothing. Looks like his name was Graham. A fine, upstanding citizen. <clears throat> Graham. Got it. Good luck, citizen Graham. At last I had a citizen ID. I hoped that this was going to be my key to getting into the city. Hmm. Well, there's only one area I can think of where we could probably use this. Oh. Let's see if this works. Authority for vehicular access denied. The firmware on my U-chip was out of date. I realized that I'd been sold a dud by Ember. Damn. Oh, the help desk. I need help, please. Oh, hello. I must say, we weren't expecting to see you here outside the city. I guess I'm an unexpected kind of guy. Indeed. And who are you? My name is Greta. It is my duty and pleasure to answer any questions you may have about Union City and the local area. How can I be of service today? Tell me about that bridge. Why won't the bridge open for my ID? Hmm. Your ID appears to be in order, Citizen Graham. Said something about outdated firmware? Ah, that explains it. Your U-chip firmware is outdated. The hand scanner on the bridge was recently replaced with the latest Union City technology. When did you last update your U-chip firmware, sir? I'd say roughly never. Dear me, that is rather unorthodox. Polite suggestion. Please update your U-chip firmware at the next opportunity. Hmm, where do I do that? How can I update the firmware on my U-chip? To update your firmware, please speak to one of our technical support greeters. Greeter? Aren't you a greeter? Indeed I am. Just not the right greeter. I am not installed with firmware update software. Can't risk the Gaplanders getting access, can we, sir? Yeah, right. So the only way to update my U-chip is inside the city? That's right, what? sir. What? But I can't get into the city without the update. Exactly. Oh, whatever. I'm walking away. Have a nice day. In Union City, sir, there is no other kind of day. Uh, all right. Well, thank you, Greta. There's a door over here. Oh, maybe this is what's-his-name's office. The uh, guy doing all the maintenance. Graham's ID was oh, that works. starting to get me places. Awesome. Oh, uh, hi there. <laughs> oh, oh, it is his place. It's the sandwich. I'll take that. Anything in here? Oh, a scanner. Anything else? Wow, I'm the worst spy ever. Did you see that? He was just standing behind me. Specialized. Uh, in what? Battery cells casing. Maybe that's something for the, uh... Oh, power cell. The power cell was completely wrecked. We might need that for, uh... Our trucker friend. Okay, well... Uh, let's go give the sandwich to the kid. Mm. 
me again. Can we talk some more? Hi. Uh, I got you the sandwich. Food delivery for Mr. Voxel. Oh, yes. One of Hobsworth's city sangers. Do you want my crusts? You eat them. Warriors need their strength. Hey, we did it. Okay, that was a good deed, I guess, but no extra info from Thanks, the kid. Voxel. Well, maybe, but... There you go, kid. Have a good lunch. Alright, what else do we pick up now? We found a data scanner. Official tool for Mino system diagn... Oh, wait a minute. Ma'am, I need to speak with you. I have some questions. Oh. Amber. Hi again. There's a problem with this ID you gave me. I tried the bridge, but it wouldn't let me through. Apparently my U-chip is out of date. Oh, right. They had to replace the hand scanner recently. Must be running on new firmware. Much newer than the crappy U-chips from that old terminal. What happened to the old hand scanner? No idea. Why would you even ask that? I didn't take it. Shut up. Either way, the ID you gave me doesn't work. Hey, listen, guy. The ID is tip-top. It's your U-chip that's the problem. It's old. Like you. Wow. Well, have you got any newer replacements? Nuh-uh. That U-chip is in you now. It stays there. You'll need to run an update, but my guess is you can only do that inside the city. And without the update, I can't get across the bridge. Yes, I that's the problem. At an impasse. Yes. Yikes. Well, that ain't good. We have a problem. Could maybe hack the bridge, but... Nah. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Well, hack the bridge? Hold on. Did you say hack? Okay. So you know how everything here runs on Minos? Minos? Surely that's not based off the old Link system. That's right. When they upgraded, they dumped the old Link tech. Smart shoes, smart toasters, smart light bulbs, smart fridges. Minos makes everything smart, smart, smart. Except the humans. <laughs> anyway, you know how Hobsworth is always pointing his scanner at stuff? Yeah. That's his Minos scanner. Minos scanners let guys without any smarts figure out how machines work. Old Hobsworth has all kinds of safeguards so he can't mess things up more when they break. But with a few modifications... Can you do more than just diagnose Minos machines? Much more. Thanks, Ember. Peace. Well, we did get something from Mr. Hobsworth. Guess what I've got. Go on, surprise me. A Minos scanner. Can you hack it into a hacker for me? Maybe. Let's see what else you've got in that bag that might be worth my time, trouble, and effort. Um... How about a Spankles? How about a Tasty Spankles? Already had like four today, mate. Spankles is about as valuable as sand around here. And probably less nutritious. Hey, anything that makes your tongue glow in the dark can't be bad for you. It's science. How about some mini K's? How about a delicious mini K made with mostly real... I heard that before. Not interested. Android finger? I don't know if you can use this, but how about this finger? Okay, creepy. Let me take a look. Whoa! Okay, this is some serious kit. The micro-actuators alone are worth a bundle. So it's a deal then. You'll hack this scanner, and the finger is yours. You betcha. Pleasure doing business with you. Meet me at my workbench when you're ready. Well, I'm ready. Let's go. All right. One ember grade Minos hacker. Thanks. So how do I use this thing? You activate scan mode, obviously. Oh, that's it? Scanning okay, for brains. Yeah, well, that's the easy part. It's got none over now here. Follow me. <laughs> Where are we going? Field trip. 
This is how I find hidden systems. They're all over the place. Ooh, what do we have here? There you go. One just popped into range. Okay, what do I do now? Right, so this here is a diagnostic view of Minos. Looks like it runs the vending machine. No kidding. See those task nodes? The darker ones? Yeah. Well, unlike Hobbsy's little vanilla scanner, my hacker can swap them round. So let's see how smart you are. Want to give me an infinite supply of spankles? Okay. You did it! <clears throat> You're smarter than you look. Okay, apply the hack and you'll be good to go. Uh, apply. Here? Alright, mate. Figure the rest out yourself. Oh, and try not to do anything too stupid, eh? Okay. S sweet as made. Thank you. I think that's a saying. I don't know. Okay, let's try it out on this machine. We're almost into the city. Stick with me. Let's go. Bingo. If authorized user, activate bridge. Wait. There we go. We're hacking. The bridge seemed to be operated by some sort of hand scanner. All right, let's go. This should be it. Woo! We're in. We are in. All right. We're in the city. Or wait. Oh, there's still a giant gate. Ah, uh, what is that thing? Oh. Hi there. Excuse me. Citizen Graham, you are not authorized for this area. I was going to have to get used to being called Graham. I just wanted to ask some questions. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm a 4YR droid. And 4YR droids are programmed to ask questions, not answer them. What's beyond that door? A corridor. And after that? The city. Okay. And how do I get in? You don't. Why not? Because you are a pedestrian. And doors do not open for pedestrians. But they open for vehicles? Yes, ah. because it is a vehicle entrance. Thanks. Warning. This entrance is strictly vehicle only. All Those guns look like they meant business. Oh boy. Warning. Extreme measures will be taken against non-compliant pedestrians. Alright, well, we'll have to stay away from the door. Huh. Alright, let's figure this out. Now, this is what we're looking for. Let's try this. Check this out. I found a little cooling fan. This might work. The conveyor appeared to be part of a waste recycling system.
All right, let's see if we can control the crane. Oh, there it goes. Oh, wait. Oh, he's inspecting the conveyor. Get wrecked! <laughs> Oh, he's got a battery. Sorry, sir. Oh, I liked him, too. Charged power cell. We're going in the city. Let's get in the city. Alert. Pedestrians now have only 10 seconds to comply. Lethal force authorized. Calm down, ma'am. All right, let's go chat with our friend and get that truck rolling. We'll head into the city. Now, again, at this point, I want to remind you that we've purposely skipped a lot of the dialogue and such to not spoil everything, but uh, I think we've done a good job of chatting with all the characters as much as we could. Sir, I have a battery. Hey, Wendell. Managed to get those doors open, all right? Just about. Did you uh, do the jig? Sure did. You said it was essential. That's right. Although, here's a funny thing. My wife never does the jig back at the farm. But it always seems to open for her. Anyway, what can I do for you? We have a power cell. So all you need to get into the... Like a cheese... Here, this should do the trick. Is that a new power cell? Juiced up? You beautiful man! How did you do it? Well... It all started with a dead man in the desert. They're gonna stop you there, chum. Any story that starts with a dead man is best kept to yourself. Hey, any chance of a lift into the city? Typical. No one ever does anything from the goodness of their art these days. I just figured that... Oh, all right. Up in the back. You earned it. Hey, man, brother. Let's get trucking. You sure it's safe back here? 100% lad. I'll take your word for it. Just watch out for me neck bursts. I've lost enough business already. Oh, I don't think this cab is refrigerated either. We're in. Woo! We did it. Well, we're out of time for today's first look at Beyond a Steel Sky on console. I hope you guys are interested in picking this one up on your console of choice. Again, Nintendo Switch, PS4, PS5, and the Xbox Series. What a lovely game. These games are lovely. And uh, whether or not it's a point-and-click game or kind of a 3D walk around and chat with people, collect items, and learn a story, I'm certainly a fan. I hope you all uh, come back to the channel for more. So thanks for subbing. Thanks to the devs again for sponsoring. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Goodbye.